Hello everyone! Today I'd like to take a closer look with you at our Steam Deck. The Steam Deck is actually a gaming console from the well-known distribution platform Steam by Valve. Since it's mass-produced and consumer-oriented, it offers excellent economics and display resolution at a very affordable price. We often use the Steam Deck to run a Linux distribution, allowing us to easily interact with and evaluate our robots. We'll demonstrate how this works with an example. This setup was developed for one of our projects, the Agra Husky, and you can find the corresponding video here. Okay, let's dive in. The confirm button is the R2 button on the back. If the right side touchpad isn't responding, try pressing the options button. The left touchpad is used for zooming and the right one is for adjusting the view. Pressing the up button and the Y together activates the ZED camera and starts a live video stream. If the stream doesn't start, enable the TCP tunnel to compress the video before transmission. Pressing up and R5 simultaneously will activate the RoboSense slider. Don't worry if some additional sensors don't appear on the Steam Deck's display. You can decide which streams are shown. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at mybotshop.de. Up and L5 activates the Amlet RS2 GNSS receiver. Up and L2 activates the Intel RealSense cameras. Pressing B and A starts recording a ROSBAC. A ROSBAC logs predefined nodes, which can be useful for troubleshooting the robot or in our case for capturing and storing LiDAR and camera data for later analysis. B and Y saves the ROSBAC. Keep in mind that depending on the robot and recording duration, this might take some time. A Husky equipped with multiple 3D cameras and LiDAR typically generates about 2 to 5 GB of data per minute. This data needs to be compressed and saved from RAM to SSD, which can take up to 30 minutes. If the robot isn't moving or the Steam Deck isn't behaving as expected, it may help to run the pre-installed ROS cleanup on the controller. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out, otherwise we'll see you in the next video.